Hi guys, I hope you're all really, really well. So in my new cookbook, Together, this is all about having people back together around your homes and the most incredible feasts. One of the chapters in here is actually a cocktail chapter and it's really something that is close to my heart because a beautiful cocktail has this ability to disarm people, to empower people <laughs> and to make everything just feel beautiful. It's a great way, I think, to kick off any meal and actually finish it as well. So this, my friends, is a royal mojito. So let me show you the chapter in the book. I think it's pretty inspiring. It's basically my greatest hits of cocktails. Uh, the raw mojito kicks off with some lovely white rum, 50 mils. You can use a little measure like that, 50 mils, straight in. 25 mils of lovely lime. So with the lime, if you want to use a little bit of the zest for garnish, I think it's quite nice, smells nice, you can. Just use a little bit of knife skills like this. So we'll take that off. If you want to loosen those little capsules of lime and give it a little roll, you can smell those amazing oils. And give or take, I'm not going to measure it actually, give or take your average lime is about 20 to 25 mils. So that goes in. So you've got the freshness of the rum, then the beautiful smell and perfume of the lime and the acidity. Then we need to balance that with about 15 mils of sugar syrup. 15 mils, or to taste, of brown sugar syrup. Now, you can use white sugar syrup, brown sugar syrup. You can use a very neutral uh, honey that's very kind of like flavor free. Sugar syrup is something that bartenders use all around the world. It's often made with white sugar and water, equal quantities of both, just brought up to a simmer until it goes clear, then you cool it down, bottle it up, and that's what you use to balance your cocktails. Now, of course, there's many different types of sugar with many different types of flavor and color. So this is a Demerara sugar syrup, so it's fun. Now, if you don't wanna make that because it's a faff, and it can be, then I often just use a nice maple syrup. Really, really good. Similar flavor profiles, kinder, and really easy because I've always got it there done. So that goes in. Then I'm gonna add some ice, and you can either stir it or shake it. Now what you can do as well is pick a lovely little mint leaf for garnish. So that goes there next to that lovely little bit of lime zest. And then these leaves here, just rip them off, put them in there so they kind of get pounded as you shake the ice. And if you want to, you can batch this cocktail. So in the book, I tell you all the different ways with food and canapes and drinks, how you can get ahead of the game. And batching your cocktail, which means timesing it by five or 10 or 20, you can do this the day before. So literally on the day, you're pouring it over ice in a glass. Easy, easy, easy. So let's give it a shake. And then I'll lose this from the glass. So I've chilled a nice little coupe glass like that. I'll pour this on top. with your little mint leaf. Wind up this little garnish of lime zest and then top up with the fizz of your choice. So it could be champagne, it could be, you know, carver, it could be Prosecco. I've got a nice little bit of champagne here. And that, my friends, is the Royal Mojito, scented with the mint, the rum, that sweetness from the Demerara sugar syrup. Cheers.